Anthony Graves is a free man these days. He spends his time speaking out for criminal justice reform in the U.S. Not long ago, he was in prison, an innocent man scheduled to die. You took 18 years of my life. You tried to murder me. And I want to stay in your face every day to remind you that we need to do better. Graves was convicted in a small Texas town in 1994 of murdering a woman, her daughter, and her four grandchildren. He spent just shy of two decades behind bars, 12 of them on death row. Only after all that time was the Texan, who is now 49 years old, exonerated. Now Graves makes public appearances with Nicole Caceres, an attorney and professor of journalism at the University of St. Thomas, who was asked to investigate a death penalty case and my students and I put up our hands and volunteered and it turned out to be Anthony's case. Some years after he was imprisoned, another man confessed to the crime. It took many years of legal appeals, however, to achieve exoneration. And now Graves points to what he sees as the causes of American injustice, lack of adequate legal counsel for poor defendants, police pressure on them to plead guilty, and outright misconduct by prosecutors. He has used some of the $1.5 million he was awarded by the state of Texas for his wrongful imprisonment to further his cause. He and Caceres find interested audiences on college campuses like Rice University in Houston. I use my story and uh, to travel around and educate people, more, but more importantly to keep it on people's mind about the injustice that is going on in our criminal justice system. I think stories like Anthony's, they make a big impression on students and in, it inspires them to go out and vote and try to make a difference. Anthony Graves expresses little bitterness about his lost years, saying he's more concerned with the future than the past. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston. Well, I just play. We just filed his writ in federal court, like, you know, September probably. Right. So he's a, he's a long way from this. Well, I just.